good grievance handling policy all good organizations must have a good grievance handling policy so that uh, the need for whistle blowing is completely eliminated uh, it is quite often uh, the absence of a good grievance handling policy that causes employees to be not satisfied and sometimes perceptions uh, are very different from what the realities are and the end result is that some people are forced to uh, protest in the public which obviously is always an unpleasant thing to happen so a clear mention of the policies of the organization should be made to all employees that is the first thing is that all employees must know what exactly is the organization doing what are what are its goals what are its policies so that an employee knows full well what uh, is going around and on what basis what are the rules an understanding of uh, the policies and the rules of the organization itself helps employees to feel a part of uh, the proceedings of the organization within this uh, policy a clear understanding of the roles in the management hierarchy of uh, each employee should also be clearly mentioned if uh, an employee knows who is her immediate boss is who are the other people to be contacted where does uh, the uh, order the decision comes from and uh, who are the people who need to be talked to officially formally uh, if uh, the hierarchy is clear then again uh, the possibility of people uh, complaining over and over again would be eliminated as and when a thought a complaint comes to one's mind if there are people who are available in the immediate uh, uh, environment uh, to solve the problem to respond to the questions and queries well there would be very few complaints left for people to worry about uh, however it happens sometimes that uh, some employees are not satisfied with their immediate bosses uh, they are not fully comfortable with things that are happening in the immediate surroundings of uh, their work and uh, they would want to approach the highest level authority of authority in the organization for them to uh, make complaints to give suggestions the organization therefore ought to have a policy whereby every employee should get an opportunity to communicate with the uh, chief executive officer or his or her representative uh, if it is not possible to uh, talk to the individual at the highest level personally by through a one to one meeting which quite often is obviously not possible because of the time constraints uh, and if it is also not possible to uh, for the employees to talk to their bosses the chief executive on telephone well there should then be some other process of uh, enabling uh, the uh, reservations the questions to reach the top level through uh, some boxes that are available where these messages could be sent about which there should be a confidence that each message is read and uh, properly handled it is sometimes cumbersome and time consuming yet nonetheless important and what is also important uh, in this uh, grievance handling policy is that the employees should be should feel confident that if they are enabling uh, the uh, chief executive officer or the senior bosses to know about something potentially wrong taking place uh, bypassing the immediate boss no retaliatory action is going to take place ye baaz auqat hota hai ke agar aap immediate boss ko ignore karke koi baat kehte hain senior bosses se to usse insaan ke apne mustaqbil ki position ko khatra lahaq hota hai nuksan uska ye hota hai ke phir log baat hi nahi karte 
اور اس کے نتیجے میں جو برائی ہے جو پرابلمز ہیں وہ قائم رہتی ہیں اینڈ اٹ از ناٹ ان دی اوور آل انٹرسٹ آف دی آرگنائزیشن ایز ویل ایز دی امپلائیز دیٹ پرابلمز ڈو ہیپن اینڈ ٹیک پلیس بٹ ڈو ناٹ گیٹ رپورٹیڈ 